Welcome back to Goat Simulator MMO. Um, I am recording my second episode of the day. I actually paused for a moment. I just wanted to take a little bit of time to read up on a few things. I didn't read up on everything. I still don't know how to get up to the top of the bully house before you watch the video or anything. Um, but I did learn a few things. One, the hourglasses that I am collecting are actually for that fish queen. Oh, look at that! It's not the fish; it's hourglasses. I need ten of them, and I have one, two, three, four, five. So I'm halfway there. Look over there. So I need to get more hourglasses. I also learned that. I need to go back to Goatwind and do. There's a wizard's quest there. There's not a whole lot of quests left, to be honest. But I wanted to take the boat because to get to the old Goat Mountain, you it's north of the beach, down through Old Goat Pass. Um, and there's a thing I want to do uh, that I discovered, uh, and you guys will see. It. Steam achievement, and I really want to do it because it's funny to me. Why are you going in a circle? Oh, it's going down this way. Okay, I see what's happening. Oh, look at it. Look at it. Oh, you... oh, look. There's a lot of different little achievements and um, references that I did not realize. Not... It's kind of interesting, some of there? the things that are happening. Oh, I'm not real. really What's sure that? how Isn't he's going to... Oh, What's that? This is it, I guess? Oh, over there, over there. What is that? What is that? Over there. <laughs> oh, listen to me. Oh, look at that. Look at that uh... over there. Awesome. And awesome. he's gone. Glad I jumped awesome. off. Awesome. And that did not take me to the beach. Oh, look at that. That was a lie. That was such a lie. Oh, listen up. That or he actually went awesome, through. Mate. I mean, you can't. It's going up the river. That oh, was such there. a lie. There are some oh, interesting little thing. paths, though. I mean, this oh, is. Look. You know what? I bet this is the path to the bears. I took the other way, but this is probably the path to the bears. Oh, look, the fish. There's a fish over there. Oh, no, this is the path to the trebuchets. Oh, look at that. Oh, look over there. Is that? Is that a beach over there? Oh, I don't know if there's any whale. What is that? Ooh, to inventory. Oh, look. These are old broken trebuchets. What's that? Is it? They're not trebuchets. Whoa! Listen, oi. What is that over there? Oh, hey, listen. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, what is this thing? There's some. Oh, listen, listen, listen to me. Okay. Oh, look at that. I am back. Oh, look at that thing. At Goatshire. That's the oh, bees. Look, 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 look. There really oh, aren't that many quests. Because this isn't um, technically oh, an MMO. This is a simulator look, 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 of an MMO. Oh, look at that. <sighs> oh, what's that? Oh, look at that thing. <sighs> Shall we try to get up there one more time? Oh, look at that Even thing. though I haven't looked to see how. Oh, I'm that. so annoyed by the fact that. I haven't been able to figure out how to get up there. Even though it's oh, counted me as getting up there once, oh, I still don't know how I've done it. Um, there's also achievements for going into all of the rooms that I discovered. So, like, into all of these open spaces, finding all of them. Oh, look at that. Look at that thing. I still feel like this is supposed to be the way I'm supposed to go. Because why else would I be able to have this perfect little thing here? I just wish that this whole thing was just wider. 
I, I seriously am having flashbacks to that whole secret world, never-ending platforming quest. Where it wasn't even a quest. That's the thing. You didn't even have to do it. Was an achievement. But I was just, I wanted that achievement so bad. And my friend, she was playing with me, she could do it. And she's like, it took a long time, but I did it. I'm like, could you do it for me? I just really wanted that stupid achievement. And you just you have to jump around a bunch of um, cars in a, in a scrapyard. But it's really hard, and there's things that are going to attack you. Look at that. Look at that over there. I almost had it. Did you see that? Do it. Oh, I almost had it. One more time. He started walking up. That wasn't my imagination. He started walking up. Oh gosh. Why do I suck at this so hard? Why is this so hard? And those are two different questions, I think. Oh, listen up, bro. Oh, look at it! Look at it! Come on! Come on! Oh, look at I still have to go. Shut up! You flying? Okay, you know what? I'm done with that. I'm gonna have to watch that video. Um, look at that! Look at that over there! I still need to look for more hourglasses. Let's me see. I haven't gone back up into this room, and the hourglasses are shiny because I have that glass. So, are there any hourglasses in here? Yes, there is. I need to destroy your room so I can get that number. Oh, over there, over there, what is that? What is that thing? Oh, hey, listen, you're annoying. Oh, and I just want to knock this over so I can get the hourglass. So there it is. Wait, you got some chips on you? Oh. Alright, so we're at six hour glasses and we need four more. They're probably hidden in other rooms. I know that they were talking about hour glasses down where the demon the old goat that I'm supposed to defeat is. And I feel like there's gonna be some hour glasses in um Goatwind. So let's go back to Goatwind. I wanna see if I can find Splash. I want to see if I can find the, um... Listen, listen, listen to me. Oh, Did I check to see if there was an hourglass in here? Oh, I did not. Is there? What is that? What's no. That thing? Okay. So let's go back to Goatwind for a minute. Because there was a quest there that I did not do. I did not find I did not do. And I thought I had done all the quests there. Which is interesting. But there was a wizard there. And apparently my quest was to go and eat a bunch of soda and chips, which explains why it was just infested with bottles and Doritos. Uh, Doritos. I haven't had Doritos in years. I'm allergic to the food coloring in Doritos, the thing that makes them all nice and red. What is that over there? What is that over there? I miss Doritos. They were very good. Um, oh, listen up, bro. There's a fair amount of chips I can't actually eat oh, for that it. reason. Not as many chips, really, listen, 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 as sodas. I can, most sodas I can't drink. Um, there's like one um, root beer, two root beers that are not colored. I should look to see if there's hourglasses in here, too. Uh, since I haven't been back here, I think. But. What is this thing? And there's the Zevia, which is a color, like a dye-free. Um, my problem is I'm allergic to caramel coloring. So that that is definitely a thing that... Is that a beach over there? That would have been a perfect place to have... Oh, look at it. Look at it. Listen. Listen. Why do you not have a thing? What is that over there? But... Like, the caramel coloring, they use it in everything. So, like, it's in... <laughs> it's in, like, so many sodas. Like, colas and stuff. And I love cola. I love the flavor of cola. And it's just not something I can have anymore. Except uh, in very specific circumstances. I don't know if any of you who are watching this are from North. Um, but there's a company called Main Root that makes this kind of soda listen, called Mexican Cola, and it's fantastic. But 
um, they stop carrying down here, and they don't ship it. From what I've read on the website, they don't ship it very uh, far, especially in the winter, because Maine, cold. <laughs> it almost crashed. You can see that? My computer was just like, Ugh. And for a moment, I've been doing so much editing and doing other things that I will not deny the fact that for a moment I'm like, I gotta save! And I can't. It's, it's not the kind of thing you save. It's an auto game on Steam, and so it's kind of, you don't, it saves some of your stuff, but for the most part, you know, you respawn every time to get into this game. So every single time I open this game, I start up at the snowflake area on the pile of dead goats every time. So a lot of times I've actually just been walking out to where I need to go. Um, God, it's still so sticky. But I want to do so much stuff. Look at that. Can I actually jump down there? I can! Ooh, they like to hide goats in water areas like this, but I'm hardly moving, good lord, because I'm not, I'm floating, I'm not actually in the water. Ooh, hey, that's good. Break the game so I'm walking on the bottom of the water. See? I'm underwater. I, I am, I am underwater goat. <laughs> you can actually see the square insides under here of the forms that they made. Pretty certain that this is not what you're supposed to be doing. But I'm also curious to see if they reward people for doing crap like this. Because this is Goat Simulator and they do like to... I'm gonna hit the edge of the map soon. I've got a feeling that I'm gonna... It's getting dark in here. Oh, and I mean... Oh, it's dark in here. Yep. That is the edge of the map. So I guess the question is, is how badly did I screw myself to be able to get up? Oh. Well, maybe, maybe not. I don't know if I can get up any of these, <laughs> which is a problem. It is a very big problem, and I may have to respawn, and you're going to see me have to respawn. Come on, come on, come on. there we go. Ooh, 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 I didn't completely screw myself. Yes. Okay, so. We gotta find the wizard. I could have sworn I found the wizard, but I didn't. I didn't. We also want to go into every room. You see those Doritos and bottles? That's what I'm supposed to be eating for the wizard, but I don't remember the wizard. Um, in here was the auction house, so I wanted to make sure there weren't any um, hourglasses in here, because they wouldn't have been shining originally, because this is my quest now. Um, I don't see any hourglasses in here. Either I have already licked an hourglass in there, or there weren't any. And I actually think there probably weren't any because from what I can tell reading a little bit about that quest line that you can respawn to get more hourglasses without having to go get some of the crazy area ones, the difficult ones to get to. Those are spoons. I mean, I'm really happy I found the spoons at the actual spoon crafting area, but I knew there had to have been spoons in Goodwin, and I found them. How did I miss them? I went over by this area. I dragged a horse into here, because this is the king spot. Remember, I went over here, and I had, like, dragged the horse? I still gotta find 
find where the wizard is, because I haven't done the wizard one yet. I know I didn't, because I didn't go licking all of this. I licked one, and I was so happy that I found him. Like, ooh, look! But he's not in here, because there was only the one quest in here. Because <sighs> mm, this is the ant thing. And I don't think I can go anywhere else. I mean, looking at the mini, mini map and looking at these little side ant chambers, which I had gone into last time. And this dude, who tried to kill me and then tried to put it off as not killing me. <sighs> I keep going behind places thinking I'm gonna find a stupid little goat statue, but. I still haven't found a single one in uh, this whole darn city. I didn't actually look. I did see the guide to finding all of the statues, but I didn't actually click on it. I wanted to click on and just clarify a couple of things that I was confused on so I could move forward, but I wanted to find the goat statues by myself for the most part. Now, don't get me wrong, I am one of those people that if it's a really hard game, and especially if it's a story-driven game, sorry, I'm starting to have trouble breathing again. I've already, like, had some of my asthma stuff, so I'm going to try and see what I can do for a minute, um, but I might have to take another hit. Um, got a lot of pain starting to happen. Let me breathe for a second. Let's all breathe together. It's good, it's relaxing. Ugh, it's hard to breathe through my nose, it's all clogged. Hold on, we're gonna do this together. We are going to relax together. Ready? We're gonna breathe in through our nose, out through our mouths. Deep, deep into your lungs. You wanna use your diaphragm. Feel your tummy move. Makes me a little dizzy, and that's how I know that my uh, my lungs are starting to constrict. Is that even though I am deep breathing, I am not quite doing so good. I don't cough much unless I'm having a very specific kind of asthma reaction. I know a lot of people do. When they have asthma, they'll cough a lot, and I do get that, but that's when I'm having allergic asthma is when I start to cough. Um, my first signs of asthma were actually... My first signs of asthma were actually pain, not coughing. Um, first signs that I recognized as asthma when my doctor and I talked. Uh, I think that I've been having asthmatic reactions to allergic things. Oh. Here's the quest. To, to allergic things for a while. Okay, greetings, young apprentice. I look at you and I see somebody who's ready. Apprentice who is ready for the final test. To overcome and transcend your own intellect. You are ready to be a wizard. There's but one task left. You must gorge yourself upon our sacred food. This is where I have to go lick all the chips. Eat ten chips and drink ten sodas. So, yeah. So a lot of this is me trying to understand some of the... Some of the reactions I've been having. It's not, it's not easy. I mean, I've had, my allergic reactions would involve not being able to breathe and um, having a lot of phlegm and coughing. And I thought that that was uh, more like uh, anaphylaxis. And that is, that's kind of anaphylaxis. <laughs> but it's also, I think, uh, an early sign of the asthma that I didn't realize that I had. And now I am super sensitive, and I have been 
been up here. Please let there be a goat. No, is there? I can't even climb up this thing. I keep thinking I'm gonna find a stupid goat. Ooh, hey, it's a secret room. I found a room and there is nothing in this room. But there is a ladder. Does this ladder work, people? Can I get to this ladder? It's really dark in here. <laughs> Gray, like there's no good. <sighs> no, oh, come on. Oh, all of the other ladders weren't. <sighs> oh yeah, it's starting to get really hard to breathe. Oh, I don't like this. Let me in! Frustration definitely can be a trigger. Um, excitement, laughter, laughter. I have triggered laughing. There is nothing up there. I have triggered myself laughing. I also kind of was choking on uh, something I was drinking at the same time. Choking. Um, go away. <laughs> ah, yes, I'm level 16. 50? I think I'm level 16, but the uh, the 6 and the 5 look so similar that I'm not certain. <sighs> okay, so I need to keep licking things. I'm glad that I found that quest. Like, I kind of keep thinking that I'm going to find, like... I can't. Can I go back? No. All the places I think would be great places to put a statue. It just gets darker and darker in here. I keep thinking that that is. Well, no, that's a different place. That's a different one. It's still dark, though. Can I go up this ladder? No, I can't get up that ladder. Mmm, that's irritating. <sighs> Let's destroy some more stuff. I need to lick things. Uh, so, um... They really like the worm. They really like the worm. Ooh, there's soda by this lady. Let's lick the soda. No, lick the soda. <sighs> I'm so mad about those spoons. I knew there were spoons in Gilbert. I mean, I love the fact that I found the dwarven area <laughs> and I can't wait to go back. The dwarven area was fantastic. I'm still not sure why I had the Wheel of Time, what that was for. I intend to lick it again, I'm pretty certain, because it's no longer in my inventory. That I need to go lick it and I need to find hourglasses in the, um... Now was there chips in here? Or is it just the... No. Chips! I really actually kind of want chips for real. Um, ooh, there's some chips there. Uh, I do have chips in the house, although they are um, crisps, I suppose you would, you would call them, because they are, they are Pringles, which uh, most Pringles I am not allergic to. There are a few. There are a couple that have some colorings on them um, that are not like annatto or whatever based. Dang. Sometimes those barrels. I'm at 11 out of 20. I need more, more stuff. There's one here. I don't feel like there might be two there. <laughs> oh no. I'm not even saving them to inventory, they just, I lick them and they automatically 
uh, because I'm consuming them. Not technically. So, those wheels don't turn <laughs> at all on that cart. That, that is a stationary cart. They did not, they did not bother because it wasn't going to be going anywhere to, uh, animate those wheels. Don't you think, like, back here there should be a goat statue? I mean, tell me. Tell me what you think. Like, I cannot be the only person who are going into all these little nooks and crannies and there's not a single goat statue in Goat Wind? The main freaking city? <sighs> the Doctor is Out. That's a great name. Some of the names that they've made up for this are fantastic. I don't want the chair. I want the I want the Doritos. I mean, those are straight up Doritos. <laughs> Hell, for all I know, those are 3D Doritos. You remember those? I remember those. I remember. They weren't bad. Um, they were kind of they were good. They were very flavorful, but um, I think my favorite part about the 3D Doritos was just the the pocket of um. Air, like crunching them, they were very. It's a different kind of crunch. <sighs> oh, speaking about food, speaking about things that we haven't eaten in a long time that we suddenly desperately want. I was on BuzzFeed and they had one of those list articles of like food uh, that was from like the 90s and 2000s uh, that people miss really bad. And one of them was better cheddars. Oh. Those were the best. I, like, Cheez-Its were good, better Cheddars were the best. And I'm really annoyed I had forgotten they existed. I had totally forgotten them. And then I saw that, that, that BuzzFeed list and I'm just like, oh, I want some better Cheddars. Knowing my luck, I'd probably be allergic to them. That's what happened uh, when I discovered that they were making Planner's Cheese Balls again. Remember Planner's Cheese Balls? How delicious those were? I do. Uh, I also uh, remember that um, I would eat the entire container in one go. Um, and I need to look and see if there's any hourglasses back here. Thank you. Um, I just remember how good they were. And I would eat them and like, my, my, like, I can eat oots, like those kind of ones, but there's not really a good substitute for planner's cheese balls, but they totally have food coloring in them that I'm super allergic to. To make that yellow, they got the yellow five and yellow six, and I'm technically not yet allergic to yellow six, although I do try and avoid it just because I've noticed that I like I'm watching like the colors and stuff continue to the, the bot synthetic colors continue to bother me. Um But I just I wanted the cheese balls and I couldn't have them. Wizard Ascension, you are now enlightened by your own intellect. I've received a wizard's hat. Do I get to wear the wizard's hat? received it, but I don't get to, I don't have any way of, uh, equipping it. God, I really hope I didn't lose all those hourglasses by going in here. Cause I just realized, again, my, well, ugh, I don't know what that was. Uh, my inventory is way different in here. And that's probably why there's no hourglasses in here. Please let there be more. <laughs> Please let me not have lost all my hourglasses going in. Oh god, please. I've got my kitty over here. You can't see him, but I've got a chair right next to mine. And he loves to lay next to me. Um, the red chair behind me, this 
I don't actually you can't see it because it's out of the way. I have this red chair that I love to live live in. I mean, I literally live in the one chair. Um, but my laptop is now on the table so that I can record and do all my stuff. And I actually got moved there first because I was doing art and I needed a place to put my drawing tablet. And I've got a, the big monitor as well as the little laptop. And uh, so I haven't been spending all of my time in the... Um, I did get my, I got my inventory back. Okay, let's head, let's head back to the beach and go to the dwarven area. Wee. Oh, uh, yeah, I was talking about my cat. <laughs> he likes, did you hear that? Did you hear that? Here, you wanna see my cat? He's gonna be mad, but this is my cat. I have two cats, but this is the big one. This is this is Raymond. And he's caught. <laughs> he probably he probably muffled my voice because he was right up against my microphone. But that is Raymond Chandler. Uh, he is my big cat. He is wonderful and whiny and terrified of everything. And he's basically a big toddler. He wants to be held like a baby. I'm not kidding. <laughs> like a baby, constantly. <sighs> okay, um... Actually, I don't have to go down to the, uh... We can quick travel there! From the first episode! The hole in the ground! Yes! Wait, that's the mermaid's tail. I wanted to go to... How did I make it there last time? I don't remember. I think that was all the way up at the top. I guess we're walking. Uh, oh, still hungry for chips. It's not fair that they put Doritos in here. My goat can eat Doritos. My goat can eat anything. He's a goat. His iron stomach. Alright, so we are going to kind of just nip over to the side and go this way because I really don't want to fight any of those mermaids if I don't have to. I've now finished that quest and they're annoying. So we're going to go up here. And it was past here, wasn't it? Yeah, right behind here. I wonder if there's any hourglasses out here in the mermaid area. I didn't think to look. We'll look next after we go up here. <laughs> oh lord, I just... just don't wanna. Okay. We haven't really gotten as much done in these episodes, although uh, there is my good friend Bilbo. And I just, I think I'm gonna go back down here and I'm going to, oh, okay. So I just got a note uh, talking about the baby boy, Raymond Chandler, lift that up or hand it to me. I can, and it says, that Raymond Chandler was actually laying on my husband in the red chair today on his chest, crossed his arm, he put his arm to sleep. And this is actually a thing that happens. He's very heavy. He is very good at putting uh, people's limbs to sleep. He is a big chonk. <sighs> All right, we're gonna lick the wheel time again. Does the Wheel of Time count as one of the um, hourglasses then? Because it says down there that I'm at 8 out of 10. I, uh, the music for this is fantastic. Just, I can't, get, I can't get that low. Uh, so we've licked the Wheel of Time. 
we are going to end this here next to my good friend Bilbo the dwarf and then I'm going to try and record one more video today and then do some editing because I've got stuff that's happening this weekend. Um, I don't really have too much more going on in this game. I'm going to see how many more episodes that it might just be two or three left, depending. There's definitely things I'm still trying to do, like the bully, and um, I know where the demon horn is, and I just need to find two more hourglasses, and I'm going to focus on that in this next video. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you like this, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah.